one. Joining us, the head coach of the Cavaliers, Dane Dameron. The regular season finale is upon us, and coach, a uh, pretty big one here, really. You can finish the season with a winning record if you can knock off Barton. Uh, before we talk about the game against the Bulldogs, we'll look back last week. Uh, and in all of your years of playing, coaching, have you ever been part of a game where you, you could say you were more proud of the defense, either as a teammate or as a coach? No, not that I can remember. Uh, I, I can't. I can't remember what happened yesterday. So you have. You'll probably have to refresh me on a bunch. It happened Saturday, but I know those kids played hard, man. Uh, Forty total yards, two defensive first downs given up. They got two penalty, two first downs off of penalties. I guess it was. So I mean, we played really well. Shavon was in the backfield all day. Um, secondary kids stepped up, made some good plays. Coach White had a great game plan. So they they just played well. They deserve it. Uh, now we yeah, now we got to try to build on that. Forty yards of offense. That's a new school record for fewest yards allowed. Four first downs allowed. That's a new school record. And you talked about Fields. He's the SAC Defensive Player of the Week. Uh, talk about that that young man and, and the other fifteen seniors that you'll be recognizing here Saturday prior to kickoff. Yeah, Shavon. I think he's been doing that all year. Uh, I think if we would get some holding calls that we should get, he he would be a whole lot more disruptive. But he's been fantastic. Uh, DeAndre Williams has been fantastic on the defensive side of the ball. I don't have a list of my seniors here with me right now, but. Uh, they deserve, they deserve to have a good crowd there. They, they deserve the recognition they're going to get. Uh, you know, these guys were recruited uh, to play in the Mountain East Conference, and we made, the, we made the change to the South Atlantic Conference, which by no means has been easy. And you know, when win, lose, or draw this week, they've, they've made an impact. And, you know, they deserve everything that there's going to be said about them. Great group of kids. I love, I love these kids, and, and they've done a great job. Coach, a little broad picture talk here. You're one in the South Atlantic Conference. You win one conference game, two games overall. You know, pandemic is what it is. We, we played an abbreviated spring season. But essentially, the next season, you're 500 in the conference. You've quadrupled your win total to four conference wins. The growth of this program, and I know we like to look at things at the end of the year, but the growth of this program, specifically inside of league games, you have to be really proud. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Anytime you go from one one league win to four league wins, that's saying something. And we had the opportunity to beat two of the, you know, most historic programs in this league, uh, beating Carson Newman and beating Lenore Ryan. And so it, it's it's been huge, and uh, a lot of that goes to the seniors and, and the leadership that they provided and the things that they've done. Uh, the sad part is, is we lose some of those, you know, we're going to lose those kids. Some of them may have the opportunity to come back if they choose. They're choosing to walk just because they don't know what the future holds. Um, but the exciting part is we got a lot of kids back. We're still, a, we're still a very young football team. You look at our secondary that played against Catawba, there was one senior and the rest were freshmen. And so that, so that's exciting to see. And so, uh, it's, it's, it's been a good year, Daryl. Uh, it's not been a great year, uh, but it's been a good year, and we, we're taking steps in the right direction. Well, the program you're going to face on Saturday, it's a fairly new program, second-year program, but it's not like most second-year programs. They have a chance to record their first winning season in school history. Like the Cavaliers, the Bulldogs come in 5-5, five and five, and they have one of the best running backs in the nation in Jordan Terrell, 1,547 yards through the season's first 10 games. Uh, your, just your thoughts on Barton and what they bring here. A young program, but a very talented program. You know, I hadn't I hadn't looked into them early in the season and I saw what they were doing. I just wanted to go see are These guys, transfers, have they brought in a lot of junior college kids and a lot of Division One transfers has got to good so quick. No, they're, they're done with the kids that they recruited two years ago. Um, they're undersized, but they play hard. Uh, Offensively, I think their goal is to win every game 17 to 10 because they want to run the ball. The running back is – he's elite. Uh, I would say him and the dude at Mars Hill are the two best running backs in the league, and they're, they're both freshmen. Uh, so they, they want to control the football, and on defense, they play incredibly hard, not oversized, uh, but they just run fast to the football, keep everything in front of them. So it's – they're good. They're really good, and I, I talked to Coach Hester uh, uh, on Sunday. I try to 
everybody's coming coming up here to Wise for the first time, I make sure that they don't try to bring those buses over Cobra Mountain or over or over Tacoma Mountain because I don't think anybody should ever have to go through that. And we were just talking. I said, man, you you guys aren't supposed to be this good. And they, they got a good football team. Well, fans, you can come check out that that good football team. The Cavaliers are pretty good in their own right. Two five and five teams square off in the season finale. Kickoff at 12 o'clock Saturday from Carl Smith Stadium. Coach, thanks for your time. Thanks, Daryl.